Hey guys, Brent here with Being Your Own Tools, AKA BYOT. Thank you for joining me, and today I have a few floodlights that desperately need to be replaced. Let's get started. Now these are the two boxes that I received from Sanzi. I purchased them on Amazon Prime, which made it nice, easy, and affordable. I'll leave a link in the description box below on where to actually purchase these items, and Sanzi was actually kind enough to provide a 20% off discount for one of the units. That's a special offer for all of my viewers and listeners, so please check that out if you're interested. Now these are the two styles that I purchased on Amazon, and the reason why I purchased these units is because of the fact that they are LED versions. Now LED versions obviously are amazing when it comes to saving on electricity bills, as well as the fact that they have an extremely long lifespan, as in they're rated for 50,000 hours, uh, so you're really not going to have to worry about going up and trying to replace the bulbs every uh, year or two, that's for sure. Other nice features about this product is that it's fully enclosed so you don't have to worry about weather. There is a photo cell at the bottom which actually indicates whether or not there's a light out so it's not running during the daytime which will save you money in the long run. The lights themselves can be adjusted 180 degrees up and down as well as side to side which is very nice. There is also an adjustable motion distance which goes up to 50 feet and you can also set the time for how long you want the lights on when they do sense motion. Now the one thing I did catch that could be improved upon is that the lettering on one is actually upside down. If you're looking up these units, it might be difficult to try and read that, but they did fix that in a newer version, so hopefully you don't have to worry about that when you do purchase yours. Keep that in mind. You also receive an accessory package with your box. Now the most important thing in this package is this black gasket. This will prevent water and moisture from getting into your house as well as potentially getting water on the electro, which is the last thing you want. On a side note, my fanboy is kind of coming out right now because this just reminds you of X-Men, so I like it even more. And of course the rest of this is just general electrical hardware. And of course, like any good product, they have an installation package, which we just don't need because we don't read instructions, right? No, get rid of this. No, I'm just kidding. Actually read this if you don't do a lot of electrical. And in all reality, looking through this, this is actually quite well done. Most of this stuff generally is kind of poopod and kind of thrown away very quickly, but this is nice, so. I appreciate that. Now let's get to the installation portion of this video. This is obviously my old rundown floodlight slash security light that I've had there for eternity. So inevitably it has been through the ringer and it definitely needs to be replaced. Now a quick reminder and one of the most important reminders is turning off your electricity. The last thing I want anyone to do is get electrocuted and shocked because that is just not fun for anyone, trust me. I first secure the mounting bracket to the electrical box. Now unfortunately in my case, for some reason this electrical box is not standard and it's very small, which is why I kind of screwed into the side. Not preferable, not what you want to do, but it's what I did in this case. So hopefully this is not what you have to do, but inevitably this is how I had to get around it. Now your white is your neutral, your green is your ground, and your black is your hot. Just a little electrical 101 for you. You wanna take your electrical wires that are existing coming out of your box and connect them to the wires that are protruding out of your security floodlight. Go and take your wire nuts that are included in your assembly package and screw them on nice and tight. Now again, just as a reminder, make sure the power is off. These wires are nice and close next to each other and the reason why they are is because of the fact that I have the power off. Also, as a side note, I have a ground wire coming out of the box, which is why I don't need to use this ground screw because I already have a ground wire coming out. Now, some in some cases, due to the fact that a house is a certain age, you might not have that ground wire coming out of the box itself, but I do, so yay me. In any case, after that, go ahead and push the wires back into the box and screw the center bolt into the mounting bracket. Now that will secure the entire unit to the wall itself and make sure the gasket is all the way around. Make sure you have a nice tight seam at the top to make sure there's no moisture coming through. Now all you do after that is turn on the power and boom, look at that, it actually works. Oh yeah. Also, make sure you adjust accordingly based upon your preferences, how long you want the light on, what's the max range, so on and so forth. But look at that. And now you all have to do is install the next one the exact same way. And yeah, that's a pretty old version. And the only reason why I didn't record this one is because of the fact that it is 12 feet off the ground. And it's a little harder to record something when it's that high. And I'm trying not to kill myself when I'm installing this stuff. So yeah, let's try and avoid that. And look at that, it actually works and we managed not to electrocute ourselves. Yay, Brent. 
Now let's do a couple quick glamour shots, and my oh my, the before and after is quite impressive. I must say that is one beautiful, sexy beast of a floodlight slash security light. But in any case, as a side note, these LEDs are extremely powerful, way more powerful than I even thought they were, just because of the fact that there's only a very few amount, but trust me when I say this, they pack a punch. Look at that, boom, done. And there you have it, episode number 36 of BUAT Done. I want to personally say thank you to Sanzi. Now they actually contacted me directly because they loved my YouTube channel so much they wanted me to do a BYOT on one of their products. And guess what? I had a few floodlights that needed to be replaced and they worked out great. I tested them for over a month before I posted this video and guess what? They Those products last and they worked amazingly, at least to this point. But in any case, thank you so much for supporting this channel. All of you, thank you for watching, and please like the video, please subscribe to this channel, and please check out my Instagram feed. I post there weekly, if not daily. In case, thank you for time, and catch you next time. Let's test it out. Does it work? Does it work? Yes, it works. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh.